Good morning, everyone. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. So in this week's episode, we are going to be taking a look at Beretta's 31-inch barreled 694. I'm going to try and find out if it's just a fad, whether this could be the optimal barrel length. All this full tension shoot has been paying off. The guys at GMK have been kind enough to send me out this beautiful demo gun and ask me to do a review on it for you guys this week. So, as we've already said, this is the 694 31 Sporter, or Sport 31 as it's called. So, we're going to have a bit of a chat about the specs of the gun, and then we're going to head out and have a shot with it. So, 31 inch barrels with a 10 to 8 mil tapered rib with the Optima Plus choking system. It is 3 inch chambered, steel proof, with a 14 and 5 eighths in stock with the adjustable trigger, which I have set for myself. This is right handed, so it's got that beautiful right hand palm swell. The signature 694 silver action with the blue outlining, which is absolutely stunning. And it comes in at a total of eight pounds, eight ounces. Shoots a fraction high for myself, um, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna put it out there and say that I have never got on with off the shelf Berettas. If it's got a standard stock, I always find they shoot too high. So I'm really, really interested to get out with this one, have a shot with it and see whether the 31 inch really does make a difference. So we are back at Blyton here to shoot today and uh, we've got obviously this lovely 694 31 inch Sporter with her. Um, I've got three quarters and three quarters in the end of it today. Uh, it's just what came in the case with it. Obviously I'm gonna shove the shot cam on for you guys. The layout today, Billy has said, is really good. They've got some really, really nice targets, especially stand three. They've got some nice little low fast targets, some technical stuff to go out today, as well as some nice stuff over the pond. So I'm really looking forward to heading out with this today and seeing how we get on it with that 31 inch barrel. So let's head out guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, all this full tent shoot can pay it off. I'm going to miss him now. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm quite a bit lost for words with that one. That's some of the most comfortable shooting I've done for a while. Not, you know, some of the best shooting I've done for a while, but some of the most comfortable shooting I've done for a while. And I'm really quite shocked with this because as I said earlier in the video, off the shelf Berettas do not fit me at all. And that, 
fitted like a glove. I am really, 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 really in love with this. And I could go as far as saying I'd shoot this over my Caesar Green. That's a big statement because I absolutely love my Caesar. It is the extension of my right hand. That is something else. That is awesome. An absolutely incredible bit of kit. I mean, I had to rush around on Saturday because one of my lessons ran over a little bit and literally had to try and run from stand to stand to stand to stand to stand to get content. And literally, I get onto a stand, a pair dead right next stand, a pair dead right next stand, a pair dead. And it just, yeah, really, really worked. And I mean, the balance and the feel of this gun's incredible. I mean, it's heavier than my gun, my Caesar, but it doesn't feel heavier. It's a whole seven ounces heavy, which is not a lot, but the balancing point on it, on this, is just, if you balance that on the joint pin there, it's just, 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 just teetering back. So it's just a fraction stock heavy, which makes the front feel that little bit lighter. And I mean, one of the difficulties that you find with people that swap between the 30 and the 32 inch barrels is the guys with the 30 inch barrels say that the 30 inch is too long, it's too slow, it's too heavy. And then the guys with the 32 say that the 30s are too fast, too whippy, you know, they have to control the gun that bit more. And obviously Bretter have come up with this 31 inch and I think they've absolutely nailed it. It's awesome. It's such a well-engineered gun. And I mean, I know we've stayed away from the fact that it's a 694 and there's a reason for that. And that's because it's a 694. It's one of Beretta's best selling sporting models on the market. And as far as one of the best selling sporting markets in general, the 694 is an incredibly well-engineered, well-built gun that is not over-complicated or over-engineered and it just works. I mean, I've had a couple of these through the shop. We had the 31 inch anniversary, which is obviously I'm guessing where this started and a standard one through the shop, but I've never had one for repair. Yep, I've had them for service, I've had, that's it, but I've never had one for repair, touch wood. And that just shows how reliable these guns are. And I wanted to sort of stay away from the fact of that, you know, I didn't want to just do a 694 review because every man and his dog has done a 694 review. We all know what the 694 is and what it's about and what it does. What Beretta have done here, to be completely different, is the 31 inch barrel. And I mean, if you look around on the market, unless you're ordering a new Parazzi or a new high-end gun like a Purdy or a Boss or a Watson, it's either 30 or it's 32. I don't know anybody else that does a 31 inch model off the shelf. And Beretta have been clever enough to fill that gap. And it really, really does work. And before you all jump on the bandwagon with your comments, I'm not saying it makes anybody shoot any better. I mean, I have seen clients that I load for kill pheasants that I would never dream of putting the gun up to with a 25 inch barrel. If you need to shoot 34 inch barrels, stand on the yellow pages. Simple as that. A cartridge is at maximum pressure nine inches from the breech and the length of barrel does not change any performance. The only thing that is important here is what suits you and what suits me. And this suited me down to an absolute T. I don't want to send it back. I really would like to keep this. And on that note, thank you for watching this week, guys. See you next week with another video.